Hello universe, my name is Mitch Barnett, this is my dog Katrina Barnett, we're survivors. I survived Marble Mountain 1969 to 1970, I was the last American there. They say from the newspaper that I'm a war hero, but I'm not a hero, I'm small potatoes compared to my dog who survived Hurricane Katrina. They found her in, she's from Louisiana, they found her down in Mississippi. She's a great dog, a lovable dog, and uh, I had three strokes and I survived. She had cancer twice and we're survivors. Today we're going to talk about a war story. We're talking about my time in Vietnam, 1969-1970. Um, it was a crazy time at, at uh, 69-70, a crazy time. Uh, I didn't think there's no way I'm going to survive this place, Marble Mountain. It's a, a strategic location. Everybody wants it. The North Vietnamese, the Viet Cong, they moved into the, to the caves. I don't think I'm going to survive this place. In fact, in Vietnam, it was a brutal war. 50% of the casualties was uh, uh, booby traps. 50% were booby traps. But between the booby traps and the mortars and the rockets, there's no way I could survive this place. It'd be a miracle if I could survive this place. I'm probably not going to survive this place. But I had three strokes, and I'm going to talk about war stories, about what it was like to be at Marble Mountain. Hanoi Hannah, they were actually, she was actually, Radio Hanoi was filming actually inside the caves, caves of Marble Mountain. The, the North Vietnamese and the Viet Cong, they've been fighting for thousands of years. When uh, Kublai Khan and Genghis Khan, they're fighting for thousands of years, the Vietnamese. And a lot of people don't realize that. They don't know that uh, Marble Mountain, Hanoi Hanna was, was filming actually in the caves of Marble Mountain. Nobody knows about this, but I know because I was in the caves. And inside the caves, they had solid gold Buddhas, solid gold Buddhas. And there was crazy stuff between the rockets, the mortars. I'm not going to survive this. The three strokes, the worst thing about three strokes is that I lost my confidence. Confidence is everything without the salesman I was a one call closer that's it I'm a salesman and I lost my confidence that's the worst thing uh, and people I'm talking about bullying today so uh, we're going to the caves of Marble Mountain we're going to walk over there and we'll see what it's like so we're walking over to the caves and as I'm walking to the caves I have I have a flashback of actually I was in the fifth grade my best friend was Marty Pine. My, my my friend Marty Pine went to he Marty Pine would say, "I'm the smartest kid in the class." I said, "Are you out of your mind? You're the smartest kid in the class." He says, "Who name one kid that's smarter than me? One kid. Name one kid that's smarter than me." I'm thinking, I'm thinking, hey, you got that on me. I was thinking to myself, yeah, he, he is, probably is the smartest kid in the camp, uh, in the class. Marty Pine. He went to Brooklyn Tech, and his, both his parents were uh, teachers. And they wanted the best for him. They were both teachers, and they disowned him because he got involved with drugs. They they disowned my friend Marty Pine. But we, me and Marty Pine, we would go to Manhattan Beach and play. Marty Pine was a good tennis player, and we would go to Manhattan Beach and play tennis. And uh, that was before Kingsboro was built. We'd go to the beach and, and play tennis. Marty Pine was a good tennis player. We'd go play ball at uh, Manhattan Beach. And if you, want, if you want one of your children to learn a sport, to go on one sport, tennis is a good sport to learn. I like basketball and tennis, my two favorite sports. And uh, that's what it was. So um, I don't think I'm going to survive this place, but this is the story of uh, my friend uh, going to the caves of Marble Mountain with Hanoi Hannah. And this is uh, my story. Have a nice day, Universe.